It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Now, as everybody know, like as kids, we have done like really stupid stuff during that time period. Of course, I can remember so many different times, even right now, where I have done something that was really stupid that I ultimate regret. And so during this time of, of course, growing up, kids learn to do good things, they learn to do bad things, and so they actually learn to grow up as they get along with other people and learn new things from their parents. And so naturally, you cannot use stuff that's been used in the past against them because they don't know any better. And so we've all been at this point where we've done stupid stuff that we ultimately learned that is bad, that is good, or whatever. However, for the case of this story that I'm going to talk about, it seems as though that a young girl who was singing a rap song when she was 15 years old is using, using some sort of video course of her just, you know, saying that kind of song. It turns out that, of course, she might be in some big trouble right now because a student actually told on her from that rap video that she was saying. And the main reason why she is in big trouble right now is because that rap song apparently had the N-word. Of course, the N-word that we all know, and I'm gonna say it, is the word nigger. Because apparently that word has, of course, negative connotations. She is now being rejected in her college as a result of her student, partly tattletailing on her for using that word, even though in the context of the song, she, of course, used it in a rap song. And actually, I want to give my two cents about this whole entire scenario, because I find it so strange that, of course, she might ruin her entire life just because she did something stupid, like rapping the N-word. <laughs> and of course, in a rap song. Jimmy Galligan was in history class last school year when his phone buzzed with a message. Once he clicked on it, he found a three-second video of a white classmate looking into the camera and uttering an anti-black racial slur. The slur, he said, was regularly used in classrooms and hallways throughout his school years in the Loom Dunn County School District. He had brought up the issue to his teachers and administrators, but with much his anger and frustrations, his complaint had gone nowhere. So he held onto the video, which was sent by him by a friend, and made a decision that would go across Leesburg, Virginia, a town named for the ancestor of the Confederate General Robert E. Lee, and whose school system had fought in order to desegregate for more than a decade after the Supreme Court's landmark ruling. I wanted to get her where she could understand the severity of that word, Mr. Galligan, 18, whose mother is black and father is white, said of the classmate who uttered the slur. He took the video away, deciding to post it publicly when the time was right. You have the audacity to post this after saying the N-word, responded someone whom Ms. Groves said she did not know. Now, first and foremost, I just really find it so childish that people keep saying this word nigger as the N-word. Like, dude, every time a person, like, says the N-word, the so-called N-word, like, we all know that you're saying the word nigger. So, we, I think it's really important to actually know the context in which words are being used. Of course, like, in the context of rap and, of course, hip-hop, it is very common to use the word nigga or nigger to mean bro, friend, dude, man. And so it seems as though during that whole entire time period when rap was first being made, many people, many artists started to reappropriate that word to mean bro and all that stuff, right? So I find it so bizarre, so childish that so many of my fellow Americans are so super sensitive about this word because I think the best way to actually fight against racism is not to make words have some sort of stigma and not, of course, try to freak out every single time a potential offensive word is said. Now, a common English idiom that we hear all the time as kids is that sticks and stones may break our bones, but words will never hurt us. 
and I think this applies. I think that the context actually matter. And so obviously in the context of rap and my context in this whole entire video that I said nigger, I think I know for a fact that I'm not using this word to assault people. And so it's so super childish that so many Americans, they just say the N word when we all know that you're not using it as an insult. It's like, come on, dude. You could say nigger in that instance, man. Okay, her alarm at the stranger comment turned to a panic as friends began calling, directing her to the source of a brewing social media furor. Mr. Gilligan, who waited until Mrs. Rose had chosen a college, has publicly posted a video that afternoon. Within hours, it has been shared to Snapchat, TikTok, and Twitter, where furious calls mounted for the University of Tennessee to revoke its administration offer. By June evening, about a week after Mr. Floyd's killing, that's George Floyd by the way, teenagers across the country had began leveraging social media calls out to their peers for racist behavior. Some students set up anonymous pages on Instagram devoted to holding classmates accountable, including in Ludon County. The consequences were swift. Over the next two days, Mrs. Grove was removed from the university's cheer team. She then withdrew from the school under pressure from administrative officials who told her that they had received hundreds of emails and phone calls from outrage, students and the public. This dude is some sneaky ass motherfucker. Like, who waits until someone goes to college then publish a video of her classmates just to fuck her over with her education. Like seriously, in the article we saw that, of course, you apparently heard nigger across the whole entire freaking hallways in the classrooms, but because she is a white girl, you cannot say it despite any type of context which means bro or man or sister or whatever. It's just so crazy to me. It is so crazy, and also what really kills me of all of this is the freaking hypocrisy here. Like, especially saying that black people and black people only have the right to use that word no matter what. And that anybody else outside of black people cannot use that word. I'm sorry, but if you're the artist and you deliberately put that word into your music, into your songs, right? Then, of course, when people sing along and want to have a good time, naturally, in a post-racial society, using that word in that kind of context is okay. So I think, I think it's actually fair game to use that word in a song. To all sing along with that song with that word in it. But it just minds blows me. And, of course, the comments on Twitter are also equally as just ridiculous. When you expose a racist student, you stop them from attending a university that allows them to become a racist healthcare worker, a teacher, a lawyer, a real estate developer, politicians, etc. Like, these people are like freaking acting like so much like a religion right now. Like, you don't like the blasphemy, the wrongdoing, and so you need to, you know, cannot repent your original sin right here. Like, how are people are supposed to grow as people if they not learn from their mistakes. Like the best way to teach people, hey, this is bad, you should not do this, is actually, you know, telling them. You don't tell people that this thing is bad by trying to ruin someone's career path. That's crazy to me. Like at some point, everybody has done something stupid. I myself have done stupid things before, both online and offline, right? Even to this very day, like I still have done stuff that I kind of think is stupid and I kind of regret doing it or posting something or whatever. At the same time, you need to allow growth. If you don't allow growth, people will not change. They'll probably become the people you actually despise the most. And so, Actually having a conversation with them might actually help. Canceling them over their course, their education, is not going to help anything out. It will only make things worse for them. And so, 
I don't think that a person who's 15 years old should probably be held at the same sort of standard as a grown adult. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.